Hi, in this video we will learn how to create JavaScript objects using literals. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. A JavaScript object can be created in three different ways. You can create a JavaScript object using literals. You can create a JavaScript object using new operator or you can create a JavaScript object using object.create function. In this video, we will focus on creating JavaScript object using literals. Let us start with a demo. I am using Sublime Text Editor to write a demo. You can use any editor of your choice. Let us go ahead and create a very simple object a student. To create that, you need to put var student. That's it. So what we have done, here we have created a object a student which does not contain any property. And we are creating it using literals. So this is the syntax you need to follow to create an object using literals in JavaScript. Now let us go ahead and create properties for this object. If we want to create a property name, we need to put name and value. So properties would be created as name value pair and we can give a name here as Dhananjay. To create next property, put a comma here and we can create another property. We are creating grade here and I'm calling that as A. So this is the way you can uh, put properties in your object. So what we have done, we have created an object called a student and then added two properties, name and grade, to that object. Now we can access uh, properties of object as uh, using the dot operator. So we can say var name of a student equal to a student dot name and then you can say console dot log and name of the student name of a start. So let us go ahead and run it and here you see that we are getting the output Dhananjay. If you create an object using literal you can add a properties even after creation of the object. So as of now there are two properties attached to a student object and their name and grade. Now if I want to add one more property, I can add that like this. A student dot maybe is 30 and we can go ahead and access that property now. So now if you run, you see that here in line number then what I, we are doing, we are adding a property after the creation of the object and that property is is and then we are fetching that property back in line number 11. If you want, you can override value of a property as well. So here you see that uh, grade is set to A. If I go ahead and override this or let us override that uh, name property value and I am calling it now dj and go ahead and again print this value and if you run the program you see that for line number 9 what value you are getting is Dhananjaya as an output whereas for the line number 12 what we are doing we are reassigning the value for property name and for line number 13 you are getting output with the updated value. So you can assign a property to object even after creation of the object and you can reassign the value in the existing property as well. An object uh, can have a function as a property as well. So when you have a function as a property of an object 
we call that method so let us go ahead and say result and suppose this result is a function and here you may want to print the grid and we can access that grid using this operator this dot grid so what we are doing in line number five we are creating one more property of a student object as a result and this property uh, does not contain a single uh, a simple value rather it is uh, it contains a function and in that function we can access other properties of the object using the this operator you see that we are accessing grid uh, property in line number seven using this dot grid now we can access this result property in, a, in exactly the same way so we can go and say a student dot result and now when you go ahead and run this you see that due to line number 18 you are getting output A here so the message is that you can have a function as a property value in your object as well so by this demo we have come to end of this video in this video we learned how to create object using literals how to add properties to the objects how to reassign properties value how to work with methods as object property for update you can follow me on twitter my twitter handle is debug underscore mode or feel free to visit my blog that is debugmode.net. Thank you so much for watching this video.